Well, howdy, everyone. If you made it this far, thank you. We're on the last lab. Again, it's Lester Martin from Starburst Academy. This one, we're going to just uh, do some ticking and tying. We're going to go back into DBT. We're going to take that project, commit it back into our repository. We're going to go create a production environment, build a job, test it out, and just briefly talk about uh, you know what you might do beyond this. So probably one of the shortest labs of the bunch, maybe 10, 15 minutes on the outside. And let's do it. Let's get on into it. All right, lab seven. Commit changes, create production environment, so on, so on, and so forth. Now this one, if you uh, are watching the videos and you're gonna come back and do some of the labs, this one you can skip um, that longer one we just finished, lab six. This one, uh, you don't have to. Come straight back to from five. Uh, and working on this. All right, so first up, get back, find our project. So I need to find my uh, DVT environment, not just my, not just my, um, oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> my DVT environment. It's right here. And what I want to do, I want to say, you know, I'm going to go just for fun, close all these things out. You don't have to do that. Uh, make sure I don't have anything um, uncommitted. I have this untitled, you don't have to do this. I'm just gonna you know, discard the changes, they don't matter. We didn't create a file or save it, so it's not gonna cause any issues. But here we go, I'm gonna commit and sync up my information. Now, we always want you to give you a meaningful commit message. So we'll just copy and paste the meaningful commit message. No, seriously, we're finishing up and merging everything back in. So we committed those changes um, that was our commit message. And then if we look that mess, that indicator now says, hey, we can merge this uh, branch. If you clicked on it to main. So let's merge branch to main. This is that repo that we set up way back when we created uh, the DBT account in the first place. All right, so that happened. It's all back in, we're all back in the main. Someone else wants to come along and check this out or we wanna look at it in a week. All our changes have been made. So let's change gear and kind of put our deployment hat on and let's create a production environment. Now to do that, we've been up here, um, we've been up here in develop, but I guess it bumped it. We're going to go under deploy and we want to say deploy environments. Now we have a development environment and to be honest, unless you have a paid account in your trial or your free account after the trial ends, you can really have only a dev and a production. You can only have one project. It's pretty limiting. And that's fair. They want you to buy this stuff, uh, pay for it some way. But here we are, we're deploying and we want to pick create environment. There we go. Now in this environment, you know, we want a nice name. Maybe production is not the best name, but it's the name we're gonna use to make it pretty darn obvious. And then if you notice, it says keep production selected in the set deployment type. So deployment type is production, great. Leave the Leave the 1.7 version, all that stuff alone, whatever it is. Um, and then from there, I don't think we want to save, right? Because there's a little more. Yeah. Okay, don't save. We just call it something. It's production. And then what we need to do is go down into the uh, deployment credentials section. So let me highlight that deployment credentials because that's some UI terminology. So use these steps to fill out that. Now these... This information is the same connection information that we used before. If you forgot how to do that, it's over here in Starburst Galaxy under the clusters connection info, and I'll just toggle it to DBT to shorten it. All right, we need a user. So I've got the user on the clipboard. There's my user. Uh, we need a password. I, I think I'll just type it in. Yeah, I think I typed it wrong. I know I typed it right. Okay. Uh, we need that schema name. Uh, we need the catalog name. That was dbt underscore quick start. And then we need our uh, schema name. This is the one that was like structure, name. And you need to get it right, obviously. All uh, right. And I think mine was xyz789. I think that's right. We'll just go look. Uh, X, Y, Z, W, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, I need another sheet. I already did a user, right? Yes. So I'm going to close that. Make sure I got it right. It's 
to low, slow, uh, load up any second now. Uh, XYZ789. Structure less than XYZ789. XYZ789. Okay. At that point, you could probably hit test connection. Um, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to just go to the top and say, this is it. I'll, I'll, about, I'll find out in a second uh, if everything's working. All right. So I skipped the test connection and did a save. And here's where the notes probably look a little different. Yep, there's all that. There's the save button. Now I want to create a job. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this page where it says jobs. I have no jobs, you know, already defined, that kind of stuff. So really what I want to do, and the job is mean, means basically I'm going to declare some, one or more of those uh, things to do. DBT run or something like that. So let's say, yeah, create a job. And I'm going to click on this and say I want to create a deploy job specifically deploy job okay probably we're going to name it a meaningful job name how about production run you know obviously it'd probably talk about more about what the job is about than production run i'm going to leave the description blank we want to run it in production uh, in the execution settings section uh generate docs on run that's this right here yep Go ahead and do that. And then just above the command, just above this, notice there's a commands section here. Already includes dbt build. Instead of giving you all the detailed screenshots, I figured you can handle it. We want to add in dbt run and dbt test. So we'll say add a command, dbt run, add a command, dbt test. So build run and test. So added all those. And then to be honest, don't set a schedule because we're just going to run it on demand or trigger it from a webhook or something. So no schedule. And we'll just go back to the top and say, save. Save it. And the good news is, to run it, you can come back and find this one, but we're already here. So let's go ahead and kick off run. And you see down here it's off and it's triggered. It's not really running just, not, just, just yet, but if you do a quick... Um, toggle or refresh or something that's what I'm looking for right there running for this little spin so yeah that's the run number it was triggered manually so on so on so forth uh, that implies it's going there and um, while it's running you can just click on this list which is, just means this click on anywhere in here and that'll show you what I'm calling the run summary so here's what you see in flight how far it's gone what it's doing at the top there's the status again running overall status here's the you know where we are as we go and what we're going to wait for is this thing to finish up here once all these steps are complete we can scroll back at the top or you know, we won't be that far away and we'll see this turn from running uh well we hope it turns to success it's all been working so far i'd expect it to go success as well um we're at about 30 seconds so why don't i hit pause just in case it goes longer And it went maybe another 30 some seconds. It finished up at about a minute and nine. Here's all the great big steps. It all has run. We can go verify uh, not only uh, toggle these and look at the details, we can go you know, to our destination, make sure all the uh, artifacts have been created and loaded up, the tables, etc. The good news is that takes us to the end of the lab. You know, beyond this, you can start scheduling this, you can start enhancing this, you could trigger. The invocation, if you don't want to use the scheduler, kind of in the, the basic scheduler that's in there, inherit to DBT Cloud. Uh, all in all, I do appreciate all of you for making it this far, all the way to Lab 7. And I meant it. Uh, feel free to ask some questions or comments here in, uh, in uh, YouTube. Add them back on that parent blog post. You can probably find ways, if you look around, for to, to get my email and all kinds of other stuff if you really, really want to. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I hope you learned a little something too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.